What's going on everybody? This is Best in the Burrow with another gameplay commentary. Um, right here I have a free-for-all on interchange. Final KD is 30 and 17. Uh, I know what some of you may be thinking. It's not that great, but um, I don't know. It was it was good enough. I felt like I, I wanted to record it and I decided to upload it because I wanted to. Anyway, um, just to get started, uh, I'm sure some of you may be new to my channel. You may be your first time visiting my channel. I do appreciate it. Um, I hope you enjoy what you see and what, I hope you like my content. Um, and some I just want to discuss because recently I decided to start sending out random messages to recent players to try to, you know, get more activity on my channel and kind of get it out there and let more people know about my channel and let them know what I'm actually doing. Um, and you know, the, the, the response I get is, it's a little varied. You know, I get some people that are really nice. They're really accepting. They're really, you know, open-minded and, you know, willing to check it out. And they're like, you know, thanks. I appreciate it. I'll check it out. You know, and those people, I do appreciate it. If, if those are some of you, I definitely appreciate you coming to my channel because, you know, without people coming to my channel, watching my videos, um, there's not really a purpose for it. Um, it is something I do enjoy doing. It's something that I like putting out there. It's definitely something I'm trying to pursue. But to do that, I need people to follow me, support me, and you know, just be all around good people. So, moving on from there, because there are what, what I've also noticed is there's a lot, a lot of people out there that are just all in all haters for no reason. You know, I, I send a message, tell them, you know, hey, if you, if you have a minute, would you check out my channel? I really appreciate it. Leave some feedback. And some people, the first thing they say is, oh, you fucking, you fag, blah, 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 this and that, and a whole bunch of other, you know, uh, vulgar language that I don't really care to get into on here because I don't want to, you know, steep to their level. But, yeah, so, moving on to this match a little bit because just kind of try to get over the negativity because there's no point of furthering that because it's not my fault that they have a, a horrible life they suck as people and they have nothing going on for the rest of you I definitely appreciate y'all being open-minded considerate and you know just all around good people and in this match I'm using my MK14 um, for those of you that are used to my channel and watch a lot of my videos I'm sure you've seen this gun used a, a numerous amount of times because as I said in a previous video it is one of my favorite guns and I'm using an ACOG with a mill dot personally I think the mill dot works the best I'm sure a lot of other people may have other preferences or you know another opinion on that but I'm not sure if most people notice but when you use a target dot you know it has a center dot and then it has a dot under that the dot under that is actually where you get the hit detection same thing as if you're using the, uh, I don't know, I don't really use much of the other ones, but, you know, I guess the only thing that comes close to the mill dot is the, uh, I think it's like a half circle or whatever, the U dot, and I like them because the center dot is exactly where your bullet's going. It's not like the target dot or, you know, your first ACOG scope you get when you first start out where it has a dot under the center um, crosshairs on it so it's a little misleading because if you if you go for headshots like I do a fair amount of times if you're not aiming up enough where that lower butt the lower dot gets on them you're not gonna get a hit and it's really frustrating and it can drive you insane so it might be something you want to keep in mind um, also kinda moving on I'm sure everybody because this is Super Bowl Sunday I'm sure a lot of you are looking forward to the game and personally I'm not and for the reasons that I'm not is I don't know like I grew up playing sports and everything I played football basketball track um, you know I've played a lot of different other sports you know recreationally not you know competitively or nothing but I don't know it's just something about today's athletes and I don't know I guess their sense of entitlement because there's just not any people in the NBA, NFL, Major League Baseball, or anything that I look up to or I would, you know, I respect or I would aspire to be if I was a young, up-and-coming athlete. There's just not. They don't carry themselves with the same level of, 
you know, demeanor or professionalism that people like Michael Jordan did, um, Wayne Gretzky. I mean, there's just a lot of people that came previously that, you know, they had, they had great images. They had, um, they were, they were great personalities. They had a lot of good, a lot of good stuff and they did a lot for their communities and other things. Nowadays, I don't feel like it's the same thing. I think, I think there's a lot of greedy people in the professional athletics I think a lot of them are unappreciative. I don't think they really acknowledge or take into account what they have. Because when we really get down to it, a pro athlete is just somebody that's naturally gifted. Yes, I'm sure there's a certain percentage of people out there that are in pro athletics that are not naturally gifted. I'm sure some of them have worked their ass off extremely hard to get to the level of where they are at. And those people, I do admire. I do, you know, I, I do... Um, acknowledge them I, I give them their due credit but other people I don't some people I just believe they're natural athletes it doesn't matter what they do um, and you know nowadays in, in pro athletics it's all about more money they don't care about the athletes they don't I mean they don't care about the sport they don't care about the fans they don't care about any of that they just care about how much money they're making they're already making millions of dollars a year and they want more money personally you know, I, I did math one time um, here recently where, you know, I, I just I just went on the basic average of, you know, the poverty line is about, I think it's like $16,000 a year is what some people live on or don't live on. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so, you know, I just wanted to do a little personal math for myself. So I went with an average of $20,000 and... Some people don't realize, but if somebody only makes twenty grand a year, it would take them fifty years to make a million dollars. All right, fifty years, mind you, that's barely above the poverty level, and that also means there's probably no retirement, there is no savings plan, there is no budgeting. More than likely, it's living paycheck to paycheck, scraping by, and you know, working your bone, working your, your butt to the, to you, to you walk to the grave, you know, I mean, that's pretty much what it is. And for that alone, that's just another reason why there's no reason to respect pro athletics anymore. I mean, there's a lot of people out here that do a lot more important, vitally, um, important and, you know, affect a lot of different things like teachers. Teachers make 30, 30 some thousand dollars a year, depending on school district and, you know, location, wherever they're at and everything. Personally, that's not enough. I mean, you know, everybody wonders why the school system is so bad, why young adults are so stupid, but they don't want to pay teachers more. And then they wonder why people don't want to go into teaching. Well, I'm going to end my rant there. Uh, you know, Final KD is 30 and 17. I definitely appreciate you watching. Be sure to click the buttons on the bottom, rate, comment, like, subscribe. Thanks.